Now on our last clip, we saw that we got a negative answer for the area. Now we're going to try and think about what that actually means. If you consider this graph here, you've got this area over here that gives us a positive answer for the integral. This one would give us a negative answer for our integral. So you can see that if we integrated between 1 and 2, like this, we would get our positive answer of 7.5. But if we integrate between negative 1 and negative 2, we come out with a negative number, negative 7.5. You can see that although we've got the same area, the negative one is the one that goes below the axis and the positive one above the axis. So what happens if our area actually crosses over the axis? Something like this. So find the area enclosed by the curve and the x-axis. So we would go ahead and do our 0 to 2, do the integration. Substitute in our limits. Now if we work out what that comes to, we get a 0, which is clearly wrong. If we just have a look at that, we can't have a zero area. Something has gone wrong here. Now, what the problem is, is that we've got this positive area up here and a negative area up there. Now, when you do it all in one go, that cancels each other out, and it's going to tell us an answer that's not right. In this case, zero, which is clearly not right. So we have to do those two things separately. So let's just go back a little bit. We'll change that to do zero to one and then carry on with our integration. We can work out that area on its own, the above the, the axis part, and then we'll do the orange bit, the below the axis part. And then at the end, you can put them together with the total area add up those two areas that we've just worked out. Now we've got the right answer. The total area is half a unit squared. So here's our next example. Find the area of the shaded region. We've got this curve. Uh, y equals 3x squared minus 12x plus 9. And we're looking for the shaded region, this grey part. So we need to do those two different regions separately, the above the curve part so the above the axis part and the below the axis part. So we set up our integral. We're going to go between 0 and 1 to begin with. And then the other part between 1 and 3. On this one, those two areas happen to be the same again, so we get our total area of 8 units squared.